Hey everyone, this is just uh, a quick non-spoiler review for The Secret Life of Pets. Now I know it hasn't released in the US yet, uh, I think you guys get it on July 8th. But I uh, just wanted to see it last night uh, with my wife who really enjoyed it. Uh, she thought it was very funny. <laughs> um, I came out of it with 50-50. Uh, I think I smiled just once during it and I can't, I've been trying to remember why, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it was that made me smile. But for the rest of it, I just thought I sat there and, yeah, it's okay. Um, is it a Zootopia, Zootropolis, whatever it was called in America? Um, no, it's not. Um, is it a Pixar movie? No, it's not. If you liked the Minions, that uh, Illumination, the studio who did this film, released. You, you know the sort of animation you're going to get, so this is going to be no surprise to you. Um, but <sighs> it's one of those movies. It, honestly, I actually think about it. It is a very 50-50 movie. Is it a kids' movie? Well, yeah, obviously it's a cartoon, animated film about pets. Does it appeal to adults? See, this is where I'm coming up unsure. It didn't appeal to me, but then it's not really aimed at, at, at me, at, at the sort of person I am. I don't really like animated films. Um, well, I mean, that's not entirely true. I like cars. I'm one of the minority who like cars too. Planes, you know, Toy Story. It picks up films I can normally get on with fine. You know, Disney films, yeah, take it or leave it. Some of them are okay, some of them aren't. But these other studios, like Robinson Crusoe, we went to see that, and that was just dis dis that was just dire. That was absolutely terrible. The animation was terrible. The voice work was terrible. You know, this is not as bad as that. But once again, it doesn't have any of any big names for the voice actors that would perhaps grab you and pull you into seeing the film. I know it's an animated film; you don't get to see the actors. But having big names on a movie poster does add something to it. But the biggest name, I mean, to be honest, looking at this list of names, there's only three that I know of. Louis C.K. obviously is a, a comedian that I know of. Kevin Hart, who's big at the moment. Um, he's funny. I mean, he's in Central Intelligence with The Rock. I haven't seen that yet, but... Once again, that film, I mean, that's a film, Central Intelligence, I mean, I'm going off track a little bit, but Central Intelligence is a film that we've seen before. You know, it's just a, a comedy buddy duo. We've seen hundreds of those, dozens of those in the, in the last few months, years, and they're just trying to add a new spark to it. And I'm not, I'm not sure. I like The Rock, and I like Kevin Hart when they're doing their own independent things, The Rock doing action and Kevin doing comedy. But this meld doesn't seem to work for me from the trailers I've seen. But Kevin Hart in here voices a psycho white rabbit. Um, and he's really going for it. He's way over the top. <laughs> uh, the other person, um, people I know on the list, Steve Coogan, who's an English comedian over here. Um, and finally, Dana Carvey. Wow. Wow. Dana Carvey, I first saw him when he was in the short-lived TV series back in the 80s, uh, Blue Thunder. I don't know whether that ring, rings any bells. It was basically like, it, it was a wannabe airwolf, but <laughs> it, it wasn't. It was, it was just like this this, this uh, police unit that flew this armoured attack helicopter that was, I think it was with the LAPD. Um, and they had like this this side unit called Rolling Thunder. It was like the ground bit in the van with a big black guy. I can't remember his name now, and, and a white guy. Um, it was okay. It was a fun series. But that's where I first saw Dana Carvey. Then obviously his Garth in the Wayne's World uh, films. But I haven't really heard much about him since. But so they're the only actors I can when I look at the list of names here of, of actors that are in this film. They're the only ones I recognise. I don't know any of the others. Um, and the voice talent is okay. It does the job. It really, that's all it does do. Um, but what worries me about this film is a lot of it, when you're just dealing with the pets, when the pets are on their own, interacting, 
in their apartments or houses or whatever, it's cute. It's funny. It, it's kid stuff. It's going to make the kids giggle. But then in a split second, it, it can change from that to really intense and dark. And that's why I'm not sure if it will appeal to all kids of all ages. There are certain segments in this film that I was watching as an adult and I'm thinking, oh, this is a kid's movie? But lately, the, all these films that are coming out aimed at kids that are used, you know, universal, anyone can see them, don't seem to be worrying about it. You know, you see families in the audience with three, four, five-year-old kids watching films that I would never have been allowed to see when I was a kid. Um, and these movies are designed with this edge now, this darkness, this fear factor that they've put in there. But this one is very sharp. It, it can go from, like I say, cutesy fun, running around, having a laugh and a giggle and bowling over and slapstick to Kevin Hart playing the psycho rabbit in your face, you know, threatening to rip your eyes out. And it's like, oh, okay, you know. So, can I... Can I say it's for kids? 70% of it is. You know, um, the other 30% is up to the parents. <laughs> um, like I say, the film didn't appeal to me. On a 1 to 10, I would probably give it 4 or 5. It just, I just didn't find it that funny. Um, but I could see it was aiming for the, as I say, the four, five, six-year-old kid audience range. That's that's who would, this will appeal to. The same as with the Minions. The other film Illumination did, as I said. So, go and see it. Your kids, as I say, your kids will probably love it. And they're probably going to get scared by some bits in it. But it might be a good scare. To me, I thought it was over the top. I thought it was a little bit too close to the edge. Um to be funny, scary for kids, if you know what I mean. Some of it was just plain scare, just plain, you know, deep, dark, scary. Um, it wasn't for long, it was only for a few seconds or a few scenes, um, but it's there and you can't avoid it and it's part of the film. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a very low-key film. It'll probably do well at the cinema. The parents will probably be dragged along by the kids to see it. So it'll probably do decent numbers for the opening weekend. But I don't think it's going to be around for long. It's definitely not going to reach the numbers of Zootopia by any shape or form. It's just not even in the same class. But yeah, I'm sure kids of a younger age will probably like it. And like I said, even though I wouldn't have been allowed to see something like this when I was a kid, nowadays kids grow up so fast probably being scared out of their pants when they're four or five years old isn't a problem anymore. Perhaps they don't have nightmares anymore. I don't know. I'm not a parent. So if you're a parent, you know your kids. But I'm just pre-warning you, there are a few scenes in this film that, that could do that. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's very short, very sh sweet, not a lot to it. it. If you've seen the trailers, you've probably seen the majority of the film. So for adults, it's probably not going to hold your attention for very long. But the kids, yeah, they'll, they'll probably dig it. And they'll probably be asking you for a puppy when you leave. So be prepared for that. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Non-spoiler. Haven't let any, anything, out of the, uh, anything out of the bag there. Um, go and see it with your kids. I'm sure, they, like I say, they will enjoy it. Um, if you enjoy it, great, fantastic. Personally, I didn't. Got a low rating on my scale. My wife would have probably given it an eight or a nine because I heard her giggling beside me all the way through the film. So <laughs> obviously, for some adults, it, it's going to work. Um, but it, yeah, just didn't hit the right notes with me. But there you go. So you guys take care. Thank you very much for watching the short review of the Secret Life of Pets. Let's just hope our pets aren't like this when we're not around. Take it easy. <laughs>